Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to create subscription or reoccurring payment with Stripe. Obviously, first things first, you're going to want to open your Stripe account. If you haven't, all you have to do is go to stripe.com and then create your account through there. Now, creating subscription or reoccurring payment automatically is going to help your business so much because this will prevent you from continuously having to create different invoices, different payment link, and it also will help you keep tracks on the amount of, let's say, members or the amount of customer that has subscribed into whatever services plan that you offer for them. And today I'm going to show you how to create such payment with the help of stripe.com. First on your dashboard, you will see the navigation menu on the left side of the screen. And on this navigation menu, you will want to go to the billing section. And as you can see, you have this subscription option. Now on the subscription option, you will be able to see the amount of subscription plan that you have. And you will also be able to see on the amount of people that subscribed to each plan. Now, before you'll be able to see the list on the sections, you're going to want to actually go to the product catalog because you're going to want to create the subscription product or services on this on this area first. So go ahead and go to your product catalog and then you're going to want to click this add product. Next, you're going to name your product. For example, this one is going to be maybe a gold subscription plan and maybe you want the subscription to be a 12 month or like annual subscription and then you can also give the price per month if you want for example annual subscription with the price of maybe 2.99 usd per month and then when you're trying to create a product, you'll be able to set whether you want this product to have a one-time only payment or will it be a recurring payment. Obviously, because we're going to create a subscription payment, we're going to choose recurring. And then I'm just going to change this to dollar. And the price is going to be $2.99 and you can choose the billing period either you want it to be daily or weekly or monthly or maybe every three months every six months yearly or even create your own custom billing period and since this one the one that I'm trying to create is going to be an annual subscription but with monthly payment I'm going to choose monthly you can also just choose annually if you want just make sure to calculate the whole price so that you know the amount of the price that you will have to charge your customer to if you ended up billing them on a yearly period but i'm just going to choose monthly for now and then if you click on more pricing option you can add other currency if you want or you can also add descriptions and this one is going to be for the internal team. Actually, they're not for customer facing, which means that, for example, if you have several different subscription plan and you will want to keep track on what comes with which, you can go ahead and add the descriptions over here. Either it's the descriptions of the services that the subscription have itself or maybe the price descriptions like how many actually goes where or like does it have tags, etc. Then once you're done with that, you can take a look at the preview on the right side of the screen. As you can see, now we have the unit quality of the subscription plan and then the subtotal. And you can also set up the tax if you want and the total build per month. Once you're done with everything, you can go ahead and click on next and then you can go ahead and click add product. All right, now that we got the subscription plan the next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to assign the subscription plan into our customers so for example let's say you know that there is a customer that will want to subscribe into this plan right here you can actually 
also assigned it directly through Stripe. All you have to do is go to this customer section and then for example, let's see John Doe or like Jane Doe right here will want to subscribe into our plan. All I have to do is go to their name, click on it. And then right off the bat, you can see the subscription option. So you can go ahead and click on this plus sign right here. And then you can choose the subscription plan that you have created and assigned it to chain. And you can actually set up the duration if you want. For example, this one is obviously an annual subscription. So instead of forever, I am going to make it as 12 months for now. So the customer will have to renew it every 12 months or every year. I prefer to do it that way just so that I can also keep up to date about my customer instead of just leaving the bill automatically going on for forever and you can also set the bill monthly starting for example you want the monthly starting to have the cutoff date of maybe on the 11th or maybe you want it to be first of the next billing cycle so no matter when the customer is subscribing into that plan the billing cycle will still begin on the first date of each month but I'm just going to stick with the date of when my customer is subscribing into that plan. And then you also have the options to add free trial. For example, you want the free trial to occur for like a week. All you have to do is click on the date of when it ends. And then as you can see, it ends on 18 May. And so the free trial will be for seven days. Next, you can also add phases. In case you want the billing cycle to have different phases, you can just click on add phase and then add it through there. But I'm not going to add any prorate changes. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. So again, I'm going to set the duration to every 12 months. I'm going to save on that. And here you also have the options to add payment method for this customer. So for example, you know their card numbers all you have to do is add their card numbers obviously this is going to be the safest payment method in my opinion because nothing can go wrong with either its credit card or maybe debit card this is the safest one so you can go ahead and ask a customer for their credit card number and then add it into this payment method once you do that, all you have to do is click on add, but you can also choose to email invoice for the customer so that the customer can choose for themselves on whichever payment method they feel they're comfortable with. But again, I personally would prefer it if my customer would pay their subscription plan with credit card instead of with manual payments. Next, you can create an invoice template if you want because here in the preview area you actually have the options to click on the invoice and take a look at how the invoice will looks like for your customer so since i gave my customers a seven day trial the first invoice that they will receive is going to be a free invoice because they don't have to pay for anything for the first seven days so this is how the invoice will looks like and you can actually create a new template if you want. You can just click on this create new template and then you can add the name, you can add group, etc. But I'm just going to use the default templates for now. And on the advanced selections right here, you can actually add more descriptions. Again, for example, if you want to add all of the services or maybe all of the product that your customers can get if they subscribe into this gold subscription plan you can go ahead and add it on this descriptions right here or you can also add some memo like thank you for subscribing to us or something like that and you also have the options to add invoice footers but i'm not going to use any of them for now so i'm just going to go ahead and uncheck it and so once you're done all you have to do is click schedule subscription and now you'll be able to see on the subscription that your customer is subscribed to all right so now that you got your customers built now what if you want to build your customer 
that you haven't got the details on. It's very easy. All you have to do is go back to this customers options, click at customers, and then add the name of your customers. For example, I'm just going to use some random name, let's say Scarlett, all right, and then add their email. Add some descriptions, for example, if you would want to add any other name like loyal customers or repeating customers or anything you can just add more descriptions on this box right here and then you also will want to insert their billing information either it's going to be the same as their account email which is this one's right here or not you can go ahead and untick it and add their billing email if you want and you can also add building details like which countries your customer is from as well as the phone numbers that they have and then you can also add shipping details and a time zone at language if you want as well as currency tax status and tax id so you can go ahead and fill everything in and once you're done go ahead and click add customer and then the step is all the same with the one that I have told you earlier. All you have to do is click on this plus sign and then you can assign this customer into whichever subscription that you have. And if you haven't have the subscription that this customer have, for example, for now, I only have the gold subscription, but let's say you have other subscription plan. All you have to do is click this add new product and then add your subscriptions through here. The step is exactly the same like how if you created your subscriptions plan through the product menu. Now let's take a look at our subscriptions menu right here. As you can see, now you have the list of the subscription as well as the customer that subscribes into that plan. So you can go ahead and click on it and take a look at the detail of the subscription. And let's say that your customers ended up canceling their subscriptions. All you have to do is click on this actions right here and you can click on cancel now. Or there are also some cases where you will want to update your schedule. So you can go ahead and click manage schedule update or if there is something wrong with the system or anything else that happening and you will need to pause the payment collections or maybe your customers contacting you and say there are some things that's happening and you will have to pause the collections you can go ahead and click this pause payment collections or you also have the options to don't cancel because you know that the billing actually have a collections date so for example if your customers ended up not paying, you can set the don't cancels option so that once your customer is late on giving their payment, they will not be automatically canceled. You can just give them some notifications through email to remind them, and then they will still be able to be subscribed into that plan. And that's basically it. That is how you can create a recurring or a subscription payment on Stripe.com. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.